easiest way for Windows users to take this course is to sign up for a free Python Anywhere account. I'm not connected to Python Anywhere, it's just an easy way to build your Django app and get it online. So I'll take you through the setup process. You go to pythonanywhere.com and create a free account. Then sign in and click on the help tab from the nav bar. Click on step by step guide. I'll be taking you through the Django tutorial. When we are done setting up Django and Python Anywhere, you will be all set to take the course. So go to this URL and the first thing I need to do is create a new bash console. Open a new tab to your Python Anywhere dashboard. Under start a new console, click on bash. Go back to the Django tutorial. I need to create a new virtual environment. Remember that virtual environments ensure that none of the project dependencies conflict. To create a new virtual environment, copy MK virtual env Django 17 all the way to Python and then go into your bash console and paste it. However, I'm using Python 2.7, so type 2.7 at the end and press enter. So Python Anywhere named this virtual environment Django 17. Just to stick to the Python Anywhere Django tutorial as much as possible, I'll keep the virtual environment name as Django 17. I know the virtual environment is active because the virtual environment name Django 17 is now in brackets. Now the virtual environment is active, anything I install will be self-contained. I'll use the Python package installer pip to install Django. I'll be using Django version 1.10, so type pip install Django equals equals 1.10. And to ensure Django has been installed, go back to tutorial, copy this line, open your bash console, 1.10 is printed. Therefore, I know Django has been successfully installed. To create a new Django project, in the bash console, run django-admin.py start project try Django. I called this project Try Django. You can call it whatever you like. Open another browser tab to the Python Anywhere dashboard and click on Files. Go into Try Django, Try Django, and this is the path to settings.py. So click on settings.py to open it. Python Anywhere has a built in text editor. This means you could build the entire site from Python Anywhere. Scroll down to line 78, this is where the database is set. I'll leave SQLite as the default database. Just remember that whenever you make a change to a file using the Python Anywhere editor, make sure to click the save button. Go back to the Django tutorial. One major difference between developing online with Python Anywhere and developing on a local machine is if you are using Python Anywhere, you don't have to run the local server. I'll show you what to do instead. Go to the Python Anywhere dashboard, click on web, click add a new web tab. Then hit next, hit manual configuration, Python 2.7. Hit next one more time. And this is the web app configuration page. Scroll down to the virtual env section. Enter the path to your virtual env. It will be something like home your username dot virtual env slash your virtual env name. So my path is slash home slash narchi slash dirt dot virtual envs slash django 17. Enter the section code click on the WSGI configuration file. Delete all the unnecessary stuff. So delete from line one to Django, then delete from the old Django to the bottom. Uncomment the section that corresponds to Django 1.10. Then update the path from my site to the name you called your Django app. I called mine Try Django. So on line 8, home narche slash try Django. Then on line 12, try Django dot settings and hit save. Go back to the web tab. Make sure to reload your web page. Then click on your website link. I can see that Django is now all set up. Open the bash console. To clear the screen, run clear. I need to set up my database. To list out all the files in this directory, run ls. We need to change into the root of the project. The root of the project is where the file manage.py is. To change directories, run cd try django. A directory is the same thing as a folder. Run ls, I see manage.py, therefore I know I'm in the root of the project. To migrate the database, run python manage.py migrate. 
I'm going to create a new super user. Run Python manage.py create super user. I'll use this username and password to log into Django Admin. So go back to the web tab and hit the reload button. And then click on your website address. Go to slash admin. Log in with your super user credentials. I'll explain more about Django Admin later. I want to finish setting it up first. There's no style coming through because I haven't set up the static files yet. Before I set up the static files, I need to create a few folders. In Python Anywhere, open the Files tab and go to home slash your username. Create a new directory. Call it static. In the static directory, create three new folders. The first, call it static again. And go back to the static directory. Call the second static only. And the third, media. Then go into home, nurture, static, static. And create three new directories. The first, img. The second, CSS. And finally, create a JavaScript folder. Then go back to the web tab and scroll down to static files. Before the static files will come through, I need to set up static files entry. It will point the URL from the static URL to the folder specified as the static root. Set the URL and directory to home slash your username, in my case Narchi, slash static slash static only. Then, open Python Anywhere settings.py and scroll to the bottom. I'm going to put some directory paths for when debug equals true. Debug will only equal true during development. So the users don't see errors, I will need to change this when the site is live. Just make sure debugs equal true, and then on the bottom of settings.py type, if debug static root equals this path, static files equals this path. So now our static root and static files directory is all set up. The project CSS and JavaScript will go into the static directory. It's just important that these settings are here so the app static files will serve properly. Open your bash console, and from the root of the project run python manage.py collect static. Go back to your Python Anywhere web tab, reload the page, go to slash admin. Great! The files are coming through. Now you can follow along in future videos and everything will work with Python Anywhere. The main thing to remember is in future videos, when I run my local development server on Python Anywhere, you won't have to. Instead, whenever you make a change to your Python Anywhere project, make sure to reload the web app. Then you can see your project live. Now you have Django set up and working on Python Anywhere. You are ready to follow me step by step as I build and launch a site that accepts payment with Stripe. I'll be building my app on OSX, but the code and file structure will be exactly the same for Python Anywhere.